Okay, uh, so it's been not that long since the last video came out. They're all going to be coming out back to back, pretty much. But we have uh, the King of Fighters 15 trailer from GamesCon, or the extended one. I know that there was a shorter version, and then they ex they released this 4 minute 45 version. And we're going to take a look at it, because I think that's going to be the one that's better to watch. So uh, let's get right into the video. I don't remember any SNK songs off the top of my head, so that's why I can't play any right now, so... <laughs> We're just gonna watch. Ooh, she's new. Uh-huh, we got... yeah, okay. You guys are just chilling. You're back, you're back from the dead. I like her design. She's kind of cool looking. Little punk, you know? Little punk looking. Okay, we got all the invites, and that's cute. Got a whole bunch of uh, older KOF stuff. KOF 15, let's go. Okay, so we got 39. We've got like, what, 28 right now? That we had trailers for? 28 or 29. So we've got a... I think that's a good roster size. I don't mind it. Chizuru. My girl. There's Shermi. We got Chris, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't mind Chris. It's just... Fuck. Oh, you're new too. And, yeah, I saw the leaks, I saw that Ash was playable, and, uh, a lot of people are very happy that we've got Ash. Ooh, listen to the synths. This song's gonna bang. Okay, the UI looks good so far. I don't mind the UI. You know, the thing that I haven't reacted really to any... Shatter Strike. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, so we've got uh, auto combos, we got the EX super specials and all that. So there's a lot of ways to use meter in this game. <laughs> Shit. Jesus. I dig it. Unravel the mysteries of the ongoing KOF saga in story mode. As the spotlight shines on the newly opened KOF So this is all the stuff uh, that takes place after 14. I know that 14, you know, you beat Verse and all that. And that's why Ash and them are back. Literally Verse reversed everything. Okay, Shune. Hey, we got rollback. Nice. I really like uh, the online menus. I saw that. We got online training mode. Dude, I haven't seen online training mode since Tag 2. Nobody does those anymore. Why? Oh, we got some anime going on. 
Oh, dude, this this game is just going all out. Three hundred songs all from fake from fucking the KOF series. Oh, dude. 300 songs from KOF, DJ Station, that's sick. Ah, oh, KOF has such good music, I'm so happy that they decided to do the, uh, the Tekken tunes thing. The, the jukebox or whatever it is in Tekken, uh, 7. You know, one thing I'm gonna give SNK credit for, considering that this is only like their fourth game with with 3D. Their camera work is really goddamn good in this game. Oh, Hydern? Yo, we got Hydern? Sick. Look at this key art, dude. Look at that fucking artwork. Oh my god, that is so good. Got Ash, Hyder, and the two new characters, Chizuru, uh, Shune, Kate Ash over there, way, way in the back, Yori, and, and Kyo. Oh god, dude, this is some good-ass artwork. Dude, we haven't seen anything about Hyder, and they just, they just throw Hyder in in the box art, or what looks like the key art. That's gonna be fun, I can't wait to see Hyder, because usually, like, when was the last time we've seen Hyder? In, in, a, in a King of Fighters. I can't remember off the top of my head, but like, usually you don't see Hydern and Leona in the same game, as far as I remember. So it's going to be cool to see Hydern have him come back, but wow. Okay. Releases February 17th. February 17th. It's far, but you know what? I'm willing to wait. Comes with a DLC pass that contains okay, we got the deluxe DLC edition. Characters. We got DLC passes. Oh, hell yeah, DLC dude. Costume. We got Mark of the Wolves, Terry. And then we got Classic Leona. <laughs> I hope it says work in progress on the final model. It just stays there. Okay. 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 Yeah. No, that's super sick, dude. This, uh... This is so worth it. Holy shit. This... Hold on. Let's, let's go back. Because, like, one of the things that I really like about... Even in 14, like, the, uh, they, they, they were showing it right at the end. So, all these super, all these supers, like, the startup animations, you know, the camera work. Camera work for the supers are very, very, like, they're on point. They're super good. Especially even Shune. I don't really care too much about Shune, but... This has some really good-ass camera work. SNK does a really good job with cameras, especially since 3D animation and going to 3D wasn't really something they were familiar with, and it was obvious by the way that King of Fighters 14 looked, and they've gotten a lot better. They've gotten a lot better visually, because this game, if you guys think that this game at all looks like King of Fighters 14, you need to get your fucking eyes checked, because it is not. This game looks a lot better than King of Fighters 14 did, and King of Fighters 14 wasn't even a terrible game. It didn't even look terrible, that terrible to begin with. It was a fine-looking game. I still think King of Fighters 14 and 15 look a lot goddamn better than Street Fighter 5. Street Fighter 5, to me, is a very ugly-looking game, and these games look very good. Especially for what they have to work with. And uh, the camera work here is better than anything that I've seen in a Street Fighter Super. Uh, Kyo's is one of my favorite. Even though I don't care about Shune, like I said, Shune's has some really good ass camera work. Luong's got some good too. <laughs> but like, if we look at uh, Shune... He's got some good, he's got some good camera work on his Super. Or on his, uh, I forget what it's called already. But yeah, no. Game looks like it's shaping up to be really good. And <clears throat> I know that it doesn't have nearly as many fighters as uh, 14 does. It's got 39 compared to how many the KOF 14 have? Like 60? Like 60? Something like that. Either way, I think 39 is fine. Um... In fact, if the game shipped now with the roster that it has, the 29 characters or whatever, plus the characters that haven't been announced, like, 
the ones that were announced and didn't have a trailer like K-Dash, I honestly wouldn't mind either. If it had all these features and it had a roster that was like 32 characters, I wouldn't have even minded either. But I kind of want to see what the remaining characters are because we still got like, what, two teams worth of characters left to announce? And I know Hydran's one of them, so I wonder who the rest are going to be. So, yeah. I dig it. Like, they added rollback. They have an online training mode. Like, I don't understand why other fighters don't have an online training mode. I haven't seen one of those since, like, Tag 2. Maybe Street Fighter V has one, but I don't play Street Fighter V, so I wouldn't know. But, uh, online training mode is good. I like that. Um, now that they have rollback, it, lo it looks like it's gonna have a normal lobby system. I fucking pray to God, because I really don't like how Strive did theirs. I don't think anybody likes how Strive did their lobbies. It's very, it's awful. I hope nobody ever does a lobby like that again. Just give me plain ass names on a background, like, lobby. Just give me a traditional lobby, please. But, uh, yeah, no, that's cool. Um, the songs in the background sound so good. I can't wait to, uh, listen to the King of Fighters 15 soundtrack. That's gonna be fun. Uh, we're gonna be looking at King of Fighters soundtrack sometime in the future. And, uh, probably before the release of this game, we're gonna be taking a look at some King of Fighters tracks. But... Yeah, no, I... Super excited for King of Fighters 15. I was a little bit excited, like, I watched the trailers, but I didn't really care too much to react to them, just because, like, I just watch them casually. But now that we're getting rollback and we're getting a lot, and there's a lot of these features coming in, uh, worth it to look at it and keep an eye on it in the future, so... Let's see. Let's see what happens, right? I'm definitely... Definitely very excited, but uh, uh, I'm gonna keep saying excited if I don't end the video. There's, uh, you know, all the links to support us down in the description, of course, you know. Roll back if you want to get the shirt, that's a Teespring store down below. Patreon for other songs that are early, if you want to get early access to big project videos or important videos that aren't really small time and easy to make like this kind of stuff is. But, uh, yeah, there's that, there's Twitch, there's a whole bunch of places to support us at. And, uh, yeah, if you liked it, do that, share it around. Uh, I just grabbed a random guitar for the Jacko video in this one. Uh, it's, like, it's fun to play a guitar that's a decade, a decade older than me. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, no, um, that's pretty much it. If we do hit that, uh, milestone of $40 over on Patreon, I will be showing off all of that stuff. All these guitars and stuff in a video I'll be talking about each and every one of them because these are all super interesting and I know that people have been asking me about like the guitars that I play in my videos so uh, keep a lookout for that we're getting close to hitting that uh, that goal so uh, yeah that's I don't know what I, I don't know why I want to what I'm doing anymore I'm just talking anyway take care everybody I'll see you guys in the next video peace <laughs>